Now, so there's a question on uh, volume and service area of a call. So there's our call here. Our call looks like this. Now, the base, here's the base, which is circular. Uh, find the volume and the service area of a call whose base radius is 28. R is 28. That's the base radius. 28. So the, the height, which is a perpendicular height in this case, is 15 centimeters. So this is 15 centimeters. That's 15. So we start with the volume, volume of a call. Volume of a call. Now, the formula of finding the volume of a call is given by B is to the other pi r squared h. Where pi r squared is the base area, this one, because it is circular. So therefore, our volume in this case would be other times let's take the pi r squared 2 over 7, where the pi is, you are not told the pi to use. Always use 22 over 7. So other times 22 over 7 times r. Our R squared is 28 squared times the height. Our height is 15. Our height is 15. Our height is 15. So take that. So a R times 22 over 7 times 28 squared times 15. This comes to the volume is 12, 320 centimeters cubed. That's the volume. That's the volume. So that's how you get the volume, just as simple as that. You already need to understand there the formula of finding the volume. So other this area times height, other by r square height, you equate the values and substitute and get the, the answer. Then too, you are told to find the service area. The service area. Service area. The service area. Service area of this column. Now, the service area, we have the base. We have this area plus area of the curve service. The curve service. Area of the curve service. So in this case, our, our base area is circular. So pi r squared, that's the base area, plus the curve service of a column. Curve service of a column is given by pi r l. In this case, where L is the slant, the slant height of this, this one. L is the slant height. So that's L. So, and now because you're given the radius, you're given the radius, and you're given the, the height, and this forms a right angle triangle. For you to find L, you must use Pythagoras theorem. To get L. So let's start with getting L first. Our L will be equal to R squared plus H squared. R squared plus H squared to find the squares. That will be there. That will be the slant edge. So this is 28 squared plus 15 squared. So our L in this case will be the square root of 28 squared plus 15 squared. So 28 squared, we get that is 784, 784 plus 15 squared, you get this is 225. You add the two, you get L will be equal to the square root of square root of 784 plus 225. You get this is 10 to 9. 10 to 9. That's 10 to 9. So find, find the slant height square root. You get the slant height is that 1.76. That 1.76. That 1.76. One yeah, so therefore we have the slant height. So the slant height is at 1.76, and the radius is 28, and the height is this one. So now the service area will be the area of the base, pi r squared, plus, now the curve service, pi r l. You already know how here, all our measurements. Uh, we have the slant height, 
plant height, we have the radius, we have the height. So therefore, take y as 22 over 7 times the radius 28 square plus plus you get 22 over 7 times r. Our r is 28 and our r is at 1.76. Is that 1.76? Is that 1.76? So therefore, one of this you find in the base. So 22 over 7 times 28. So this one you can say 22 over 7 times 28 times 28 uh, plus 22 over 7 times 28 times 31.76 by 71 by 74. Here by 71 by 74, you get 88. 88. 88 times 28. Times 28, you get 2464. That's the base. 2464. So that's the base. Then you go to there. You go to the service. So again, it's 22 times 4. You get 88. 88 times. 88 times that 1.76. 76. 88 times that 1.76. You get this is 2794.88.88. So this is what you get. Now you add the two. You get the sum of the base by the cap size. Plus 24, 64. This comes to 52, 58.88 centimeter square. 52, 58.88 centimeter square.